For the A5, you need to know the causes of a high brake pedal, a low brake pedal, a hard brake pedal, or a spongy brake pedal. This is with the engine on, and when I say a low brake pedal, I mean the brake pedal travels further down before any braking action happens. And we all know the causes of a spongy pedal. That's because you have air in your brake fluid. But what if you had water in the brake fluid, huh? What would happen then? Water cannot be compressed. So your pedal would feel normal at first. But as that brake fluid heats up, that water is not gonna handle the heat and it's gonna evaporate. And now you have steam and steam will lead to a spongy pedal. And nobody wants a spongy pedal. Let's talk more about brake fluid. If the fluid level is low in the master cylinder reservoir, you will get a low or spongy pedal feel. There is a point where the brake fluid gets too low that hydraulic pressure cannot be built and the brake pedal will drop to the floor with no braking action. But what if you have too much fluid? If the fluid is overfilled past the max fill level, your brakes will drag. This is because as fluid heats up, it needs to expand. If it cannot expand into the reservoir, it'll expand into the caliper piston or wheel cylinder. This action causes the brakes to be applied, which results in brake drag and a hard brake pedal. The master cylinder contains pistons, and these pistons contain seals, and these can eventually fail. When that happens, you'll have an internal leak, and your brake pedal will slowly sink to the floor. An external leak anywhere in the system also causes the same thing. The brake pedal will slowly sink to the floor. An external leak is easy to spot though, but an internal leak, not so much. Sometimes the master cylinder leaks into the brake booster, which ruins it. You can also have corrosion eat up the bore on the inside and then the seals are not gonna be able to seal properly and you also get an internal leak. Let's talk pushrod adjustment. If the pushrod is adjusted too short, you will have reduced braking power and the pedal will be low. A pushrod adjusted too long will cover the vent port. After you release the brakes, the hydraulic pressure needs to vent off somewhere, right? If the vent port is blocked, Hydraulic pressure will not be relieved and the brakes will remain applied. This creates brake drag and a hard brake pedal. Power boosters increase brake application force, be it a vacuum booster or a hydro boost. Anything that prevents the power booster from providing brake assist will cause a hard brake pedal. It can be a restricted vacuum hose for a vacuum booster or low power steering fluid for the hydro boost. Moving on to drum brakes, a seized wheel cylinder, a glazed drum, or glazed linings can cause a hard brake pedal. If the brake shoes were improperly adjusted, the pedal would be low. A seized self-adjusting mechanism would not self-adjust, and what happens? The brake shoes will travel farther to contact the drum as they wear. This leads to a low brake pedal. Last up, we have disc brake systems, and I hope yours doesn't look like this one. The main thing to know here is that a seized caliper will cause a hard brake pedal. The rest are pretty easy to figure out. For example, if your piston, if your caliper piston was leaking, what would that do to the brake pedal? If the brake pads were glazed, what would that do to the brake pedal? Pretty easy to figure out, right? And man oh man, is that brake pedal moody sometimes. But the brake pedal feel can tell you a lot when you are diagnosing. See you in video number three, where we will review the disc brake task list.